decimal system. Let's take a number 3, 4, 7, 9. To write the places we move from right to left. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now remember that decimal means a point, a dot. When we deal with decimal system, we put a point after one's place and then move from left to right. A decimal number looks like 25, 2.6, 2.67, 48.59, 389.478. You must have noticed that I'm not saying 2.67. You can't say 0.67. You have to say 2.67, 48.59. And to this you need to read as 389.478. Now let's take a decimal number and try to understand the places and place values. 3479.265 3479.265 This is the point. Before the point we move right to left and the places are ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. We write the first letter capital, O capital, T capital, H capital and T capital. After the point, we move left to right and the places are tenths, hundredths and thousandths. We can tell the place values by doing this 9 multiplied by 1 will give us 9 7 multiplied by 10 will give us 70 4 multiplied by 100 will give us 400 3 multiplied by 1000 will give us 3000 so these are the place values for 3 4 7 and 9 and to determine the place values after the decimal point, we can do it by doing multiplied by 1 by 10 for tenths place, multiplied by 1 by 100 for hundredths place, and multiplied by 1 by 1000 for thousandths place. So, 2 multiplied by 1 by 10 is equals to 2 by 10. 6 multiplied by 1 by 100 is equals to 6 by 100. And 5 multiplied by 1 by 1000 is equals to 5 by 1000. We read these place values as 3 thousands, 4 hundreds, 7 tenths or 7 tenths, 9 ones, 9 ones, 2 by 10 or 2 tenths. 2 by 10 is equals to 2 tenths. 6 by 100 is equals to 6 hundredths and 5 by 1000 is same as 5 thousandths. So now I guess it's really easy for you to make the place value chart like this. To make the place value chart for 3256.284 draw a table like this 
and write the face values in the columns. Three thousands, two hundreds, five tens, six ones, two tenths, eight hundredths and four thousandths. So the number after the decimal point is actually a fraction because two tenths means two by ten, eight hundredths means eight by hundred and four thousandths means four by thousand. Let's understand how to write this fraction into decimals. So in this example, our place values after decimal point are 2 by 10, 8 by 100 and 5 by 1000. It is very easy to change them into decimals. Just count the zeros at the bottom. Then on the top, start from right to left. Count the digits and put the point. Let me explain here. We have one zero at the bottom, so count one digit and put the point. Next we have two zeros, but at the top we have only one digit. So make it a two digit number first. So eight can be written as zero and eight. Now we have changed it to a two digit number. We have two zeros at the bottom. Then start counting from right to left and count two digits, one, two and put the point. So answer is 0 0.08. Here answer is 0 0.2. Now for the third example, we have three zeros at the bottom. So we have, we need to have uh, three digits at the top but we have only one digit so make it a three digit number first one digit is five another is zero one more zero so zero zero five which is equals to five we made it like three digit number so we have three zeros here and now count three digits one two three and then put the point so your answer is zero point zero zero five let me explain you one more time here one zero so count one digit and put a point so your answer is 0 0.2 next example you have two zeros so count two digits but here you have only one digit so first make it a two digit number by putting a zero before it so now it is zero eight Count two digits, one, two, put the point, answer is 0 0.08. Next example, you have three zeros at the bottom. On the top, start counting three digits, but you have only one digit, so make it a three digit number. Five is there, put two zeros before it. Now it is 0, 005, which is equals to five. Start counting from right to left because we have three zeros so count three times one two three and put the point your answer is 0 0.005 that's how we convert fractions to decimals in our next video we will understand some more about decimals